Don't forget to keep checking out the links in the description, especially the newest one to help the children and their families of the Ukraine get any help that they can fleeing the horrible things that are happening in their country. Hello, friendsies. Welcome back to my channel. I lied to you. I don't know if anybody else noticed. I noticed and looked at my planner the other day and was like, ooh, <laughs> I lied. Uh, in the video that went up at the beginning of this month, my uh, graphic novel Rex, I said next week's video will be more of like a book talk related video and then a lot has happened since then. But this is the book talk related video. I want to talk about something that I have in my room. It's these. It's these little um bookmarks. It's a, a thick stack. Is this my this is my thumbnail, hold on. So these are bookmarks that I originally bought at Barnes and Noble all the way back in 2012, right? Back in 2012, I was a sophomore in high school. That sounds right. I was a sophomore, sophomore junior in high school. That's the correct thing. Um, and I was horribly depressed at the time, <laughs> but also really on my like physical book reading kick. I think 2012 is also about the time that uh, I stopped reading books with my mom every night. I think I was reading books with my mom. I've talked about this before. Until I was about 13, before bed, she would sit with me in my room and read read to me. She'd read a couple chapters. We were reading the Chronicles of Narnia for like four years straight. We would read, start from the magician's nephew, get all the way to, what is the last book called? I don't even remember. And if we ended that book and it still was like a decent time of night, I would go, can we, can we start it again? And she'd grab the magician's nephew and we'd start reading again. I think this was, this was about then when I was 13 and said, hey, I think I kind of want to start reading on my own now. Uh, so I started writing down and on these bookmarks, it's, you know, it says you are here because it's a bookmark. It has the title, the author, the date when you started, and it has any like, it has like a tiny section for notes if you want to put it. And then it has the date finished. And back sophomore, junior year, and then it didn't happen between junior and senior year that summer I was working, so I wasn't doing it then. Uh, but then senior year, I was taking two English classes and I had a book for each English class. And I was also reading one to two books personally at the time, even though I was horribly depressed. I don't know how your girl did it. You know what? I was reading books instead of doing anything else. There you go. But junior, sophomore, junior year, I had these and I had a Word doc of every book that I read. So I did like in the summertime, so I had like June to August books read and I would write them down in my Word doc. And then I had September to May, what books I read. And those that time of year was always like a little more spaced out because of school. But then August, June to August was always like a thick part of the Word doc. And I did it for, I think I did the Word doc for two years and then I just did everything else here. So I'm gonna count these, hold on a sec. So there are 47 in total of these, right? That's incredible. 47 in total. And there are 13 from just 2012. I want to read the ones from 2012. I, have I talked about this? I recently did a big book clear out. I think I might have posted like the books that I was getting rid of on Instagram between the books uh, by my bedside that are ones that I like plan to read at some point and the books on my bookshelf because I went through the ones on my bookshelf I don't remember if I've said it here. I've definitely said it in my group chat. But um, when I was reading all of these books, whether I genuinely ended up liking them when I was done or not, I was putting them on my bookshelf. Because between these, the word doc and owning the book, it was like, like, I felt like it was like an accomplishment. Like it was like my trophies. I'm sorry, I keep wiping my nose as well. I went through my bookshelf and read all of the like synopsises of the books that I had up there and anything that didn't sound like I was going to read it again, I got rid of because I had quite a few books that at the time, 2012, 2013, 2014 was the like dystopian era, like the Hunger Games, uh, like Divergent. I had a book uh, series and I had the other two, The I had all three books. I had only read the first one called Article 5 and it was like a new, like a another dystopian kind of thing. A lot of like runaway teenagers and homeless teens. It was it was odd. It was odd. And I also had a book where I loved it at the time. Like I don't know what it was at the time. It was one of my favorite books of the time where I wish I remembered the title of it. I'm sure it's in here somewhere. A girl was like kind of like a troubled teen kind of thing. And I think she was I don't remember if she was assaulted or just in an abusive relationship. Not that, that makes it better. Um, and the like, the local 
young deputy cop kid and her like fell in love and that's like yucky um <laughs> but that was a book that I had loved at the time and that's something I got rid of like, just a couple other ones like I know like every book that I read for my English classes I ended up keeping for a long time like The Great Gatsby is right here at like it's the last book of 2012 that I read and like, I have a note on it that says for school and for love. Like, ew, I have complicated relationships with The Great Gatsby. Does anybody want a video specifically about The Great Gatsby and my complicated relationship with it? Because I'll make it. So, like, I got rid of that. Like, I had kept The Crucible. I had kept... Do I still have Waiting for Godot? I feel like that might be the only book I read at school that I kept. I had a farewell to arms at one point just because I wanted to own it and be like, I read this. Stop. We're going to read all the books that I read in uh, 2012. So the beginning, the beginning of this, July 1st, 2012 is the first time I started using these, right? Notes from the Midnight Driver, As Dead As It Gets, Bad Girls Don't Die from Bad to Cursed. These three, really quick, these three specifically, As Dead As It Gets from Bad to Cursed, uh, from Bad Girls Don't Die and from Bad to Cursed. As Dead As It Gets is the third book in that trilogy. I got that one first. I had no idea it was in a trilogy because the synopsis didn't really... The synopsis itself didn't, to me, didn't really sound like it was describing a third book. But as I was reading the book, there's a couple instances in that book where it talks about, oh, when this happened. And I'm like, I feel like I'm missing part of the puzzle. So I read the third book first. And then I read the other two. And I actually love that series by Katie Allender. Katie Allender, the, for, uh, the Bad Girls Don't Die series. Phenomenal. Love it. Dark Companion by Martha Acosta, also loved that book. And I think the that trilogy and then that book coming up right after it, I think that was the best decision to read those in that order because it was so good. I have The Downside of Being Charlie, Falling for Hamlet, Will Grayson, Will Grayson. That was what I had to read for like summer reading that year in school. So 20, uh, September 9th, 2012. I think that was junior year? And I like, I, st I read that book, wrote the essay the day before it was due, and I got one of the highest grades in my homeroom. So that's pretty neat. Or not my homeroom, one of the best grades in my English classes that year. Uh, the Best Night of Your Pathetic Life, Such a Pretty Girl. Oh, I think I remember what that one was. Yuck. Silhouette of a Sparrow, Paradise, and The Great Gatsby from 2012. All right? From 2012. How many do I have for 2013? One... I only have six from 2013, and then how many from 2014? I'm so shocked. I have 12 for 2014, and that is the year that I was reading for my English classes as well. So hold on. I'll tell you the ones I read for English class. Well, okay, so hold on. <laughs> because my senior year started in 2013. Let me get let me get back here. So extreme, Extremely Loud and Incredibly Close was part of the summer reading. Oh, it was part of my AP work. It literally says AP work. Things Fall Apart was AP Lit. Waiting for Godot was AP Lit. Beloved was AP Lit. Help AP Lit. Uh, Hollow City. Slaughterhouse 5, was that? I don't remember if that was AP Lit. No, that had to have been AP Lit. Because then I read... I don't have any of the ones for my... So senior year, I think I've said this before, I took AP Lit and then I took a class called Hemingway Faulkner Steinbeck. It was HFS. The only reason I took that class is because I signed up for a specifically Shakespearean English class and me and two other people signed up for it. And one of the people was my ex-boyfriend. <laughs> He's my ex-boyfriend now. We weren't dating yet, but we started dating senior year. That's one of the kids that signed up for it. So those are, I only have my AP Lit ones done. I don't know why I didn't put my HFS ones on here. And then from 2014, it skips to 2017 because like I said, I was horribly depressed. No, where's the one that I read in college? There was there was one that I read in college that took me four fucking ever to read. Far, far away. I started it on August 29th. Oh, maybe not. No, that doesn't sound right. Because a lot of these only have like a day or two in between them. Or like a week. So it's not even that much. I thought Far, Far Away was a lot different. I read it, started it on August 29th, 2014, and finished it on September 2nd, 2014. That's not that big of a difference. I want ones with like a huge gap. I found the one with a huge gap. It's the last one from 2014. Uh, started it September 3rd, 2014. Love Letters to the Dead by Ava Delaria. Um, my notes on it says, sorry it took so long. I finished it on January 30th, 2017. Yikes! 
And then which ones, let's see, 2017 had, 2017 only had three, 2018 had six, I only read one for 2019, P.S. I Still Love You by Jenny Han. Uh, I started it September 15th, 2018, and I finished it in January of 2019. Wow. And then January 19th to January 24th, Always and Forever, Laura Jean. I love that series as well. I really, I haven't seen the third movie. I really like the, uh, like, To All the Boys I Loved Before series. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, look, it's Percy Jackson! Percy Jackson and the Lightning Thief started it July 3rd, ended it July 4th. Percy Jackson and the Sea of Monsters July, started July 4th, ended July 5th. Percy Jackson and the Titan's Curse started July 5th, ended July 5th. Still haven't finished it. And that's of, that, that's of 2020. I didn't realize it's been two years. I thought it had only been a year. I gotta make that follow-up video. Oh no. And then The Girl from the Sea, which was in my graphic novel, Rex, and Garlic and the Vampire, which was also in my graphic novi novel, Rex, Novic Rex. Wow. Uh, and then I just kind of, I kind of stopped. Because like I said, when I was younger, this was kind of like, kind of like a trophy. I felt like this was kind of like an accomplishment. Like looking back on it, it feels like an accomplishment that I have all of these. You know what I mean? But after Garlic and the Vampire, I realized that... I don't reach for these as much as my bookmarks. Right now I have a magnet bookmark, so it like clips together, of Chibi Bucky as the Winter Soldier that my best friend bought me. She bought me a set. It's one of Steve as Captain America and uh, Bucky. And then she bought me another one that was different eras of Bucky, so it's like World War II, Howling Commandos, uh, I think like like Civil War Bucky, Beefy Bucky. She gave me little like magnetized sets for Christmas, I think a year or two ago. So those are the ones I'm using now just because these, I don't know. I, I've kind of, for me, I think I've grown out of these, but I really like these and I kind of wanted to, to flex because I did say in the video that went up earlier this month that I had wanted to be a booktuber. When I started my YouTube channel, I did my little introduction video and I figured I would do kind of like videos where I just talk like the past, like the videos that are all over my channel. I figured I would do a couple of those here and there, but for the most part, I wanted to do like monthly TBRs and like wrap ups and book hauls. That was the goal because as I said in my graphic novel Rex video, uh, I was really into Peru's project at the time and I was watching every single one of their videos. I was obsessed. But then I think the reason why I started my channel and like how life was around that time, I think I kind of grew out of it. Does that make sense? Like, I, it wasn't really feasible for me to do that. I wasn't... When did I start my YouTube channel? Was it in 2017? I started my channel in 2017. Holy... Oh my god, it's almost... It's almost been a full five years. Holy shit. Um, that's crazy. At the time, it wasn't really feasible, like, where my life was, what was going on in my life. It just wasn't gonna work out that way. And if you remember, if you've been here since 2017, if you have not, that's okay. But if you've been here since 2017, I didn't have a schedule. It was when I could film and when I could edit it. So half of the time my videos were going out at like midnight because I would come home from work and edit because I couldn't sleep because I used to close at my job. So we've come a long way. I've come a long way from all this, from all of this. And how many books have I read recently? I ended with Garlic and the Vampire on here, but I've read, I read all the four Heartstopper books. I've read a, um, a prequel to a manga that I used to love. Uh, recently I went through that. I don't know, I've been getting better at reading lately because I've changed a lot as a person and I think I'm coming back to... Maybe not coming back to, I think I'm taking things back from when I was younger and really, really enjoying them. So I'm flexing on book talk right now. Book talk. Pick, pick... Oh, I was gonna make a fucking quote from Sailor Moon, the dub. And I kind of, I'm going to do it anyway. Pick a cardi and that'll zap the juice from those gurgling babes. Book talk. If I like read a book title out and you were really curious um, as to like who it was by or like what it was about, please let me know and I will try to get that information for you because I love to share books and rec books and all that stuff. Usually I let people borrow books, but also there's certain ones that I will never let people touch. Let me know please in the comments if you want that Great Gatsby video because I could make, it's not gonna be a long video, but I could make a whole video about my relationship with the Great Gatsby as a piece of literature. 
<laughs> Anyways, thank you guys so, so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Bye! I didn't wash my wash my hair last night. So you guys get to see my new headband and this is quite the look.